One article teaches you to build blockchain financial applications. Teach you step by step. One article teaches you to build blockchain financial applications. Whether you are a startup founder or a business leader planning to launch a financial services application, chances are you need to know how to use blockchain for financial services. Industry observers have highlighted the steady growth of blockchain in the financial services market. A markets and markets report states that the fintech blockchain market will grow from $230 million in 2017 to $6.282 billion in 2023. The report expects a compound annual growth rate of 75.9% during the period 2018 to 2023. With the current economic trends, you must be wondering how to build blockchain financial services applications. Please continue reading this article. I will answer this question. Which blockchain can you use, public versus private? You need to decide which blockchain to use. It depends on your business model. Consider the following scenario. 1. Your financial product or service is limited to registered customers. Do you want to limit products or services to customers registered with your business? You may have followed the relevant KYC, know your customer, process to register a customer. You might choose to restrict access to the new financial services application to only such customers. If so, then you need to use a permission blockchain in this case. Enterprise blockchain fits the bill. They allow you to enforce access controls and only allow trusted parties to view sensitive information. You can use any of the following enterprise blockchain frameworks slash platforms. Hyperledger Fabric, this is an open-source enterprise blockchain framework from the Hyperledger Consortium. You need to find a blockchain network host, such as AWS, IBM, etc. R3 Corda, this is the enterprise blockchain platform from R3. Consensus Quorum, J.P. Morgan Chase is the company that originally developed Quorum. Consensus acquired it, and the company now offers Quorum as an enterprise blockchain platform. 2. The product or service can be offered to anyone. This even includes anonymous or pseudonymous users. Anyone can view transactions, and there are no access controls. If you want to start a decentralized financial services application, you need a public blockchain. Many entrepreneurs have built DeFi, decentralized finance, applications using the Ethereum blockchain platform. Ethereum provides the following for this. EVM, Ethereum Virtual Machine, this is a decentralized computer. Developers can use this computing engine to build dApps, decentralized applications. Solidity, it is a language for coding Ethereum smart contracts. Smart contracts are open source code with if-then-else statements. They execute autonomously and transfer crypto assets according to predefined conditions. Smart contracts are immutable. The results of their execution are irreversible. Ethereum blockchain development tools, the Ethereum ecosystem provides IDE, integrated development environment, testnet, test network, API, deployment tools, etc. I will discuss them later. Note 1, I provide a quick overview of a dApp here, as follows. DApps are web applications. You can use any standard front-end development techniques to develop their front-end. The back-end of a DApp must consist of smart contracts. DApps store data on a decentralized blockchain. They must adhere to established encryption standards to do this. DApps require a cryptographic token. You need to use established encryption standards to create it. DApps are open-source programs. You cannot change a dApp without the consensus of the user community. No single user controls most cryptographic tokens. Note 2. In this guide, I am assuming that you will be building a DeFi application on Ethereum. How to build a blockchain financial services application on the Ethereum network. You need to take the following steps. 1. Set up a software development team and join in a dynamic way. You will need the following roles on the Ethereum blockchain development team. Project Manager, PM, Architect, Business Analyst, User Interface Designer, Web Developer, Ethereum blockchain developer, Tester. Note 3. I'm assuming you will be providing a web app. If you plan to offer mobile applications, you need to hire a mobile developer. I recommend the following. 
hire a PM with extensive experience in leading blockchain development projects. Look for architects who can incorporate scalability measures into technical solutions. You need a plan to scale your Ethereum blockchain application when the time comes. Hire business analysts with in-depth knowledge of the Ethereum DeFi ecosystem. Hire a JavaScript developer to develop the front end of the web application. Many web developers know JavaScript, and there is a rich ecosystem of frameworks and libraries. Why do I suggest you join the team in a staggered way? The reasons are as follows. You need enough time to define the scope of your blockchain development project. Planning work also takes time. You should start by adding PMs, architects, and some business analysts. They need to define the scope of the project and gather requirements. The team also needs to plan the project. During this time, developers will not have enough work. Blockchain developers can be expensive, so when your workload reaches a certain level, you need to hire them. Add other roles before getting to the coding stage. You can join the development and testing leads during the planning phase. 2. Define project scope and plan project. Assign your goals to your team. Indicate the type of DeFi you want to build and what it should be able to do. Cross-border payment apps, these apps facilitate global payment transactions. Stable coins, these are cryptographic tokens designed to maintain a stable price. The prices of stable coins are usually pegged to real-world assets such as the US dollar. Decentralized lending apps, these DeFi apps allow borrowers to borrow money directly from lenders without any third-party intervention.